Hi everyone, Morgan here. So this video is long overdue. A long time ago, I asked the community, hey, what are your ideas for prepping when you have no money? I'm not here to judge anyone. You don't have any money, you don't have any money. I mean, I just heard of a story of a guy who was eating, who was living off of just beans and rice because he couldn't afford anything else because he couldn't afford gas to get to work. Look, everybody's got our issues. Everybody's got our budgets. Everybody's got our things that we're dealing with. Everybody's got our things. So, okay, there's no judgment here. You don't have any money to prep? That is cool. There's lots of ways to prep though, okay? So whether you have a very limited budget or no budget, right? You just don't have any extra money to put towards almost anything. There's always ways to prep. So here we go. Let's jump right into what you guys had to say about um, prepping on a limited or no budget with no money. So Autumn Greenleaf, boy, she had a lot to say. <laughs> uh, skill development, uh, making a plan, some kind of plan, any type of emergency disasters, I'm on board with that. Put stuff together you already have in your house. You don't have to go shopping for things completely new. That's a great one. I've done that. I've done a video on that. Um, something's also helpful to, is to test yourself and altering your routes, eating less, bathe less, <laughs> all these skins. It sounds crazy and I'm laughing because like <laughs> I've done that, you know, um, find free stuff on Craigslist, make stuff that's practical to you. See, um, see an apple tree in your neighborhood that's dropping fruit. Ask the person if you can take the fruit home, find recipes that use scraps, pick up, um, every coin you can. Dude, saving coins, like I I used to do that as a kid and I would just find like every coin imaginable. And also I want to add on to that. Um, in some places, not a lot of places, I think every state should have a bottle return in which you get the money back. But not everyone does. It's not just recycling. Like most places have recycling. But some places like when I grew up in Oregon, we would collect bottles and then we'd go and um, deposit them and we would get like so much money back. I, I mean, that's like... <laughs> That's like how I paid for the food that I bought myself, like any extra food that I wanted or whatever. I'd get like five, 10, $20 at a time. All right. So the next one um, from the bacon, um, no one's mentioned physical fitness done at home. I mean, really like I have a video coming up about this that to make fitness fun, but you could literally just jog around your house, lift up some gallon waters of, you know, gallon waters, do whatever. It doesn't matter. Here's a video of my daughter, like, you know, lifting stuff that we had at home. Rocks are inside those baskets. Whatever. Do it. It doesn't matter. Physical fitness can be done at any, anywhere, at any how, okay? It's just all about getting movement and getting going, right? You don't need special machines or gyms or anything like that. Okay, Nancy K, shop at your house. Exactly. Make your first aid kit or your EDC or your bug out bag. I know that was just mentioned here a minute ago, but I, I really want to emphasize that. I thought that was so good. Shop at your house. I guarantee you can make like a, a bug out bag from just what you have at your house already. Guarantee it. In fact, I'm going to do another video about that uh, here coming up. Of course, I'm a prepper, but I'm going to shop like I'm not a prepper. Okay. Okay. I'm going to shop my house is what I mean. Okay, Wendy says, learning knots, practicing skills at home or while camping, doing run-throughs, practice making a fire at home, make a shift to make a makeshift stove. Like I made that hobo stove a while ago. You could also make just, you could do that. And like, you don't even have to post the holes in it or whatever. Just like, just make a stove, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, dehydrating foods in the sun, recycling, repurposing materials. Next one's by Shelly Carr. Go to the library and become familiar with everything. You know, rent things from the library. The library is a great resource. And the library, some libraries also have a seed swap where you can actually get seeds from your library. So check that out. Yeah, so uh, another one, Chuck Howard says the exact same thing. Shop your house, go through your basement, your garage, and, and you know, your drawers and say, hey, what can I use this for? Repurpose. Uh, so that's a number one tip here. <laughs> a barter with your friends and family and neighbors. Um, I've bartered for a lot of things. I've gone on Craigslist just from complete strangers. And I've been like, hey, you want to trade this for this? And yeah, you know, like they do. <laughs> so that happens quite a lot. It's really nice. Maybe you can't pay your bills that way, but you could at least maybe trade and barter for other things that you might want or need. So um, last proper standing says fitness and skills. Again, you know, um, Soak up the knowledge, read knowledge, read blogs, read, you know, watch YouTube videos like you're doing right now. Go read some blogs, print out your recipes. Um, and then fitness. Fitness is also, you know, we just talked about that, but anything, uh, fitness and skills. Fitness and skills really don't, they don't have to cost anything. All you need is like some, you know, shoes, comfortable shoes, I would say. Just 
you know, I like you don't want to be exercising at high heels is what I'm trying to say. OK, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, skills, you can practice skills anywhere. Just go to your park and practice fire making. Go to your park and look, you know, forage for food. I mean, skills are, are really where it's going to be at. Next one's going to be from Sunny Prep. Save old clothes for making quilts and rags and pouches or patches and things like that. Yeah, really good one. Quit buying paper napkins, and paper towels, and that kind of thing. Um, that's something I'm struggling with. <laughs> I am trying to um, cut back on the paper towels, and I got a lot of reusable stuff of rags and, and cotton towels and stuff like that. So I'm trying to cut that out. Sewing is a really good skill, like she said. Um, you don't have to have a sewing machine. I do a lot of stuff by hand. I've seen those little hand sewers. I don't know how good they are, but I don't know. I, I've seen some of those like 20 bucks or something, so I don't know. Uh, so, okay, so Kim R mentions here a uh, little free libraries. They're all over the place and there are seed libraries. Um, so yeah, look up those resources. I'm actually going to put the links that she mentioned here in the description down below. So you can go check that out. Um, food banks. So I think this is a really good one. Um, food banks is, are, you know, if you don't have any money, like, especially if you don't have much money for food, I see nothing wrong with going to a food bank in order to not just, you know, maybe put away one of those cans that you get, but to live. Okay. We have to think if we don't have any money, then we probably don't have much money for food either. So if you go to the food banks and get food, that's totally fine. You know, I don't see anything wrong with that. Do not ever feel ashamed for that. And again, we're talking about people who don't have very much money and, um, you know, really are scrimping and, and doing whatever the best that they can. So I think food banks are a good service. Um, and then trade with goods or services, volunteer at hospitals, um, you can pick up skills and the occasional handout, that kind of thing. You know, volunteering is a really good way to um, help out and others help you. You know, um, churches uh, often, you know, have a lot of stuff. I know, I know that if you're a member of LDS, that they have a like their own food pantry for members. And you have to be like referred to go to that food pantry, you know, being a member and all that. But um, but yeah, so lots of services and, and people out there willing to help. Right. Uh, so mapping out resources that are near you. This is a great one. Go onto Google Maps and like start looking at sources like for water and food and, and security and, and, you know, just locations and whatever. Um, walk around your neighborhood and look at your neighborhood and your, and your, uh, security and your neighbors and, you know, don't, don't be creepy about it. Okay. But you're just scoping out the neighborhood. You're seeing the resources around that kind of thing. Look at the trash that's on the ground and figure out how to repurpose that. Um, I think I did a video about that a while ago of like walking around and I found like free food. There was like dandelions and acorns on the ground and I found a bunch of trash, just trash, trash, trash everywhere. Okay. And I found like good five gallon buckets just like in the trash. Okay. So like you can um, find some good stuff. Uh, just by looking around, scouting, uh, go to Google Maps first, look around, then actually go to those physical places and, and check it out. Uh, William McCaslin, boy, I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. Learn to be a good scrounger. You never know you, what you might need down the road. Exactly what I was just talking about here. Like uh, on our last property in Alaska, there were so many things there. And I was like scrounging around the whole property because there was all these little things. And I always kept thinking to myself, I know there's a way I can repurpose this <laughs> because like there, there might not be right this second, you know, how people always like, uh, save really good boxes. And I'm going to save this really good bag because I can repurpose it later. Okay. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I can repurpose it later. Maybe not right this second, but maybe later. Obviously, don't be a hoarder, <laughs> you know, keep a little bit of bags like we had to start discarding some of our plastic bags is like this is just too many. But I do use plastic bags and things like that often. So, OK, if you're near a factory that offers free pallets, oh, my gosh, free pallets are amazing. We used to go to um, uh, this one feed store and they were just like, get just take them all like they just wanted to get rid of them. Lots of places want to get rid of them. Some places. We'll charge for them and some places refuse to give them at all but it doesn't hurt to ask you know like even Lowe's and Home Depot might get get rid of them too so definitely um check out those places uh you just ask again it does not hurt to ask okay just go ask but pallets you use so many things with pallets uh sell stuff they don't need uh, this is a great tip you sell stuff you don't need. I mean, just look around your house. There's always things that you can sell. And if you can't sell it like individually, like on Craigslist or something, make a, have a garage sale. Um, I know it actually, they, 
the city does charge you money to have a garage sale with it. I just think it's ridiculous. It's like 20 bucks or something. But you can have the garage sale and you can make probably way more money off of a garage sale because people are usually looking for like those little things that maybe you can't sell easily on online, but you could sell it really easily on crate on I'm sorry, on a, a garage sale or something. Okay, so um, Captain Erica says you can save seeds from produce. I did a video a while back saying um, that that was one of the main we uh, main ways to save seeds from the produce you eat. Save those seeds, right? Try them out and then use them in your garden. It, they will work. Um, and yeah, if you don't have any money, uh, but do have food assistance, save those containers for different uses, you know, um, save all the containers. That's another one of the whole thing of like, uh, <laughs> it's a really good bag. Well, that's a really good container. You know, sometimes I will only buy things from the store if it has like a really good container that I could potentially use like pickles and jams and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be deliberate spend your money wisely right i'm gonna get a reuse out of this jar okay <laughs> so skills we come back to skills what are the skills that you have that you could uh, either use to sell items like if you have crochet skills you can crochet sell some items you have knitting skills knit some stuff um if you have sewing skills no sew some stuff and try to sell it you want to make some candles sell some candles do whatever i mean these are still really popular things jewelry is always going to be popular have the use your skills to your advantage and put things up and market yourself you know be an entrepreneur okay <laughs> uh, some of the some of the ways that we're going to um you know, you don't, you don't have to have no money is what I'm saying is that you could try to scrape some money together in order to sell stuff. You know, like if you don't have a lot of yarn, maybe you could wait on sales or, or, you know, ask a friend if you could borrow some money for some yarn, you know, use your resources, use your skills. And, uh, you could also use those skills for barter and trade too, not just for selling services or, or your stuff, but, um, for barter and trade as well. All right, so this is very long and I'm actually gonna tell you guys, creative redundancy is kind of like um, the master of <laughs> reusing, recycling, all this. this is a very long thing, but basically he loves to scavenge, he loves to reuse, he loves to recycle. And every time I put up a video, he's always like, hey, this is my game, my jam, nice job. <laughs> and uh, I always think of him, always think of re creative redundancy. Okay, so Jay Moore says to propagate stuff. And I think this is a really good idea. Um, I believe I spoke about that in a previous video, but yeah, propagate stuff. So like if you see something out and about and it's, you know, on public property, not on private property, but you see something out and about, you know, take a little thing, take a little stem off and put it in some water and start propagating and then, you know, growing it yourself right there at your house. Uh, propagating is, is really good for, but, uh, garage sales, um, uh, mentions garage sales as well. Um, you know, we just got really good deals at our neighbor's garage sale. Lots of good stuff. If you have the time for that, you know, we don't have a ton of time to be wandering around to a bunch of garage sales, but if you have the time and you want to wander the garage sales, go wander and go have fun. Um, flea markets are also, could be a really good idea as well. Uh, let's see. Angel says maybe take an extra job. So like a lot of this stuff, like I don't like I'm pretty sure Angel was the first person to even say this. Take an extra job. There's delivery jobs. There's Uber. There's you know if you have a car, there's those types of jobs that you can get pretty easily. All you got to do is just have like a clean background, and um, there's a ton of jobs right now. Labor is at an all time demand. You can go get a job. Okay, I guarantee you walk into any type of retail or food service, they will hire you on the spot. People need jobs or people need people. So you need a, if you need a job, you don't got any money, then go get a job. And if you're able, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're, I don't know what your circumstances, you know, for, but there are also a lot of remote jobs. 2020, I got to say, one of the best things that came out of COVID was way more remote jobs, just way more. So find your skills, go apply to remote jobs. There's tons of remote jobs available out there, even more so than there was before. So I am mentioning this one, dumpster diving. I do not personally do it, but I know a lot of people who do. And I, I'm not, you know, I have nothing against it. There's a lot of good stuff people throw away. You know, um, I saw a picture of people who were literally throwing away completely unopened bags of toilet paper. And it was just in the uh, dumpster. Why? 
<laughs> blows my mind. Ah, they could have at least given it to somebody. Goodwill, freaking somebody. Um, drives me insane. So there's a lot of good stuff in dumpsters. People throw away perfectly good things in dumpsters. So if you want to, if you have the time, you have the gumption, go dumpster diving. Uh, most people, most people shouldn't m uh, mind, but if somebody kicks you out, then somebody kicks you out, go to another one. You know what I mean? Was that enough ideas for you? At least one thing that nobody mentioned was practicing your mental wellness as well. Through yoga, breathing, exercises, all these things. Um, your physical and mental wellness are probably the things that you can practice the, the most with no money, right? You're practicing every day to control your emotions. You're practicing every day to, I'm gonna close this my glasses, to be a better person. And you're practicing every day to, eat better or exercise or, you know, whatever the case may be. So we're always trying to just be better people, uh, practice skills. Like I said, if you don't have a backyard, go to the library or go to the park and go to the library for those to rent books and things like that. But go to the park and practice skills, you know, practice, you know, making a fire in the fire pits at the park or, you know, go for a walk in the park, you know, whatever. There's always things that we can do. Um, go foraging, do whatever. And, Again, you know, YouTube, blogs, the internet. If you can't access the internet at your home, go to the library and access the internet there. And um, just, you know, get all the knowledge and then get out there and try to take action as much as possible. Thank you all so much for all of your great advice. I love hearing from the community. And if you have any other tips or advice that you didn't see, I know this is a longer video, video than usual, but if you, there's anything else that you didn't see, head down below to the comments and say it so that we can all take in this information and prep no matter what budget you're on, whether you have all the money or no money or in between, whatever. Anybody and everybody can do these things. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.